Okay, this is Tom Connolly, your principal at San Jacinto Elementary School, and I'm going to attempt to do this one more time. Earlier today, I tried recording my first screencast, and uh, it went on for way too long, so I'm going to try to do this much quicker today. So let me go ahead and by, by starting our presentation, and I'm going to try to talk faster as I'm moving through this. I'm going to try to limit this to two uh, to ten minutes, and we're already 30 seconds into that. So we're starting out, of course, with our theme. It's to dream big. You're probably wondering what this is. This is our first flipped faculty meeting. And so this is a recording that you're going to get that has information. And I'm going to try to do some cool things uh, with this technology. I'm trying to keep up with this. Of course, you see us walking around with our iPads. And, and uh, we're having a big push in our district to try to improve the technology because it's relevant to our students. So as I cover this, first of all, um, the flip faculty meeting means I'm giving you the information before the meeting in a digital form of media. That's what you're seeing right now. And when you get that, this way there will be a whole lot less of me doing talking at a faculty meeting and we'll get right down to the nuts and bolts of it. So part of what we're going to cover is technology. So we're, we've already mentioned the flip faculty meeting. Um, I also have here Twitter. Um, we, we have a school Twitter account and I want to encourage all of you to follow uh, on Twitter and I'll go through that in just a minute. We'll, uh, we'll move to the internet and I'll show you how to uh, log on to Twitter if you, haven't, uh, if you don't have a Twitter account already and it's at San Jacinto, um, San Jacinto or at SJE underscore rocks. So that's the account you're going to be looking for if you want to follow us. You follow us at San Jacinto or SJE Rocks. Um, we're also going to give you a quick piece of information on math journals and Google Drive, and then we'll talk about iPads. So I'm going to back out of our presentation for just one second, and now I'm going to go to Safari. Now, of course, I'm on an Apple computer, so this is going to look a little bit different than what you might be used to seeing. When I go uh, online, your web page should still look the same. And I'm just going to type up here in my search bar, Twitter. And when you open up to Twitter, it's going to look just like this. It's going to have a welcome screen. And I'm going to log in. My username will be at SJE underscore rocks and my password well that's my password it's a secret when you come in you might need to use this box right below where it says new to Twitter and sign up if you don't have a Twitter account go ahead and fill that in and sign up for a Twitter account I want to encourage you to do that because that way you can get information that parents are getting and you can see it in real time also if you have a smartphone please either go to the Google Play Store and upload the app for Twitter or if you have an iPhone use the App Store and search for Twitter and you'll be able to get uh, it's a whole lot easier on your phone because it cuts all this other uh, process out and it'll help out and so I'm gonna sign in and I'm just gonna say not now and it's gonna pull this up I'm gonna tell it not now again and so I want you to notice here uh, it's got my feed and this feed is all the people that I'm following as they post and it'll throw my post in whenever I put something up there and I want you to focus on this top box on the left at one point I'm going to have a picture here I don't know what that'll be if it'll be something about SJE but I'll plug that in there um, it says I've, I've given five tweets so five times I've posted information and I believe every time I post a tweet it limits you to a hundred and forty words there are 19 people that I'm following right now and there are nine people that are following my account and so I'm gonna click on this to show you you can see who is following you and so now you can look over here on the right side of my page you can see the different folks that are following me and I am following them so that's just some helpful information when you uh, go to Twitter and you're looking at if you want to see the tweets uh, that you've posted. These are the tweets that I've posted. I put some information out there. I've got a picture from our um, our fall fun day on here. So I'm just going through this very quickly so that you can see that. And when you want to post a tweet, you go up here and you hit this little feather pin uh, to compose a new tweet. 
Um, I did want to tell you one of the big differences between Twitter and uh, Facebook is on Facebook people post comments and everybody can see that and if somebody puts something nasty on your Facebook page everybody can see that uh, that's something that's different with Twitter uh, if somebody posts a nasty comment on my feed or a comment to anything that I put on here uh, it will come to me but it will not be visible to everybody else unless they repost or retweet as they say in the world of Twitter they retweet something that I put uh, I'm going to move from here. I'm going to go ahead and log out of this, of my account. Uh, and if you have any questions on Twitter at the faculty meeting, that's where we will discuss that. I'm going to back out of there. And then I'm going to go to our Liberty, Liberty web page. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have a link to it. When you come to the Liberty web page, if you go up here to this word department, uh, drop down menu will appear, you follow this, and you'll come to instructional technology, and if you click on that, uh, this brings you to the web page that Kay Harrington made for us. As you all know, we've had a math consultant, Christine Campbell, has come in, and she's talked to you all about doing some different, um, some different ideas such as math journals. So if you drop down three items on this left-hand column to Instructional Strategies for Math, and you click on that, you'll get information about math journals. So if you have some questions about that, you can click on any of these links. They've got prompts for you down here, uh, already ready to go. And if you follow that link, you have 101 math journal prompts that are already made for you. If you have questions in general about math journals, there are three different videos here and they are the same type of video that uh, I'm doing right now. They are called uh, screencast and you can click on them and you can see I believe this first one uh, it'll bring us to YouTube and it's done by Cindy Luttrell and I'm just going to talk over her and uh, she, she is a partner with uh, Christine Campbell and she is one of our other math consultants here in the district so she does this this uh, whole um, procedure here and you can watch it's very similar to what we have right now or what I'm doing right now except hers is probably a little more polished because she's a pro at this. I'm going to go ahead and close this one down by going to Google and now I'm going to visit with you just for a second about Google Drive. Uh, when you go to your your Google web uh, or internet or your your I guess your Google Mail your Gmail account um, you can see for your school it has all your school information well now when you log into your account if you don't have this app called Google Drive you wanna have this this will be another item you wanna get this loaded to your phone to uh, your tablet to your any computer that you are using and I'm already logged in but right here where it has uh, my email account um, if you're not, it would say sign in, and you could sign in, and you can you can have multiple uh, accounts if you want. If you have a private Gmail account, you can have a Google Drive for that also. And now, um, when you when you move just to the left here, there's a little looks like a tic tac toe board, and this is your list of apps. And you you may have some apps, or you may not have some apps loaded in. One of the apps that I have loaded in is called Drive. And so I'm going to click on that, and, and I'm just kind of doing this as a model for you on how you can access this. If you do not have Drive, it'll prompt you to, um, to load some of these apps. There will be a message that says, do you want to load um, an application? And you want to load this Drive. It's like having a cloud. And this is a new way of uh, avoiding to have to carry around a thumb drive, and it's an easy way of sharing files and pictures with anybody else within the school district or anybody that you have a uh, have in your um, contacts list for Gmail. So I'm going to click on Drive, and when I click on Drive, these file folders represent files that I have uploaded. And so if I wanted to upload, I created this one earlier today this new file and uh, I went up here to the word create and I said create and it asked me what do I want to create and I said I wanted to create a folder I'm not going to do that again um, just because I'm showing you this 
And that's my timer letting me know that I'm at 10 minutes, so i got to wrap this up. Okay, so I have my folder here, and I just called it New File. And when I opened that file, there was nothing in it, so I went up here to this arrow where it says Upload, and I, I found a file that I wanted to upload, upload, and that was the master schedule. So I went ahead and uploaded it to my my drive. What's neat about this and, and saving it here is now I have it saved in a place where anytime I log in I could find this file and I can access it. But what's also cool about it is it's so easy to share. If I click on this I can drop down to this word share and I want to share this with somebody. So I'm going to go over here and hit share and when I hit share it says invite people down here and I could say I want to share this with everyone at San Jacinto and it has the same contacts that I use every day for email so I could say SJE teachers and I could hit share and save and this would be sent to everybody and if you don't have a, um, a, a drive account set up you would still get it it's just you will be limited to being able to save things yourself and share things yourself also so you, you want to load up a uh, drive account on here. Let me show you what I mean by sharing it. Um, all the time we're taking pictures and when we're taking those pictures sometimes I'm taking them sometimes Lisa's taking those pictures and Lisa says here shared with me when I click on that these are all folders where Lisa has shared pictures uh, with me and when she shares them with me now I can access them and I can do whatever I need to do with them, make a slideshow with it or if she makes a, um, a document she wants to share with me she makes it right here and she sends it to me. So I will kind of cover this again in the faculty meeting but right now um, this is just something for you to think about. So let me go ahead and X out of here and I'll go back to our presentation. So we've covered the flip faculty meeting, Twitter, math journals, Google Drive. And so this brings us to iPads. The reason I'm talking about iPads, we're not just modeling this for you. We're trying to see if there's some use for this in your classroom. And so I'm looking for folks that um, are expressing interest in this and we want to try to get them an iPad and an Apple TV so that they can wirelessly display what they see on their iPad on their projector. So if you have an interest in this, um, I want you to think about that so at the faculty meeting you can kind of share that with me. And if, if we do get an iPad, what we do not want to do is buy technology that would just sit on the shelf. We want it to be used in the classroom. So if you're using an iPad or if you, you voice that to us and we get you an iPad what we're going to be looking for is for you to share some of those ideas either in a presentation like this or at a faculty meeting and we'll work with you on that and Kay will work with you on different ways to implement that into your classroom but we need to start talking about where that can be used and how it can be used. Our PBIS team um, has established their Panther store uh, the Rockstar Room is up and going. They've ordered shirts for those members. And by the way, there's always room for more people to join the, uh, the PBIS team. Um, if you have any interest in joining the PBIS team, please see Ms. Patton. She's got that uh, organization rocking and rolling. Uh, we need you to think about this item here, the fourth item, teacher incentive for attendance. We're looking for ways to... Uh, um, uh, reward folks for being having perfect attendance here at school and so what we're looking at is on a six weeks basis uh, putting people that have perfect attendance in for a drawing and we're trying to figure out if we want to make that one big drawing for everybody and and uh, have a financial reward of something that would be like a hundred dollars on a gift card or on a, a prepaid visa card or if we wanted to um, if we wanted to break that up or maybe do multiple gift cards or and for different types of groups of people like maybe just teachers in one group and Paris in another to see if we can get more people an opportunity to win that and uh, we want to make it uh, the right amount so that it does motivate people to want to compete for that and then finally we have showtime and I want you to think about um, 
your ideas with this and how it would work and how it won't work or what things that we could avoid or what we could do to make this successful. Uh, with Showtime, we're thinking of uh, ways that kids could come out a set time once a week, just like we do with the Panther Store or, or with the Rockstar Room, a set time where um, myself and Ms. Goodwin would set up in different parts, different hallways, and the students could come out and show us their graded work. Like if they made a hundred on an assignment that was really tough and and they could come out there and we could high five them and we could praise them for that and uh, give them some positive feedback and then send them back to the room so that the spotlight is on their academics. Or if you have a student that just, um, they really impressed you. You're not used to seeing uh, a grade, maybe they made a 90 and you're not used to seeing that 90 from them and you know they worked really hard on that so that we could give them that positive stroke and put attention on the good things that they're doing. So just be thinking about that to visit with me at the faculty meeting um, and that way we can get that started very quickly. Finally, the CIT, um, they, they have met and they started a needs assessment and we did a lot of that based on data. I would like you to, to think about um, things that you know uh, we need to make a priority here at school, whether it's based on data or if it's just your anecdotal or your observations, please be thinking about that. And that's what that brainstorming means. And we're going to try to frame them under the eight goals that our board gave to the superintendent. And those eight goals can be seen down in the 180 room at any point in time. So the last thing I have here, finally, is the early release day that's coming up. I'm sorry if that picture disturbs you, uh, but this is the most important thing that, that I, I have for that, and that is to you need to bring something very important to you, something that's precious to you, kind of like the ring was precious to Schmeagel in The Lord of the Rings. Bring something that's very precious to you and, and uh, think about that. You've got about a week and a half to think that over. Um, we do want you to bring that because we're going to ask you to share why that's important to you and at the faculty meeting we'll give you a little more information about that and also lunch will be served. So finally we got some pictures here just wanted to end this by sharing a couple of photos of you of some of the things that we had here on the fall fun day that are just really cool and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up that's the end of, our, of this presentation.